Welcome to the Notekeepers Hotel Review. We're reviewing today the Citizen M Hotel in Boston, Massachusetts. The hotel is in a building connected to Boston's North Station and the TD Garden. The TD Garden is home of the Boston Celtics and the Boston Bruins. At the hotel, there is not a valet or any parking, but they did notify of us of that before we arrived. There is parking in the same building uh, down the street and it wasn't too bad to get to the hotel from there as long as you didn't have much luggage. The hotel entrance was a lobby for an elevator bank. Once you get up the elevators to the fourth floor, that's where you would check in. You could immediately feel getting into the hotel that it had an artistic quality. It brought back memories of our uh, trips to European hostels with its minimal check-in approach. Once you got the check-in, there was a bank of kiosks that you could check in yourself. There was a person from the hotel there to tell you how to do it, but it was pretty seamless. They did offer us breakfast at the kiosk when you were checking in. We decided to decline that. I just took a video of the breakfast if you're interested. You'll see that later on during this video. Uh, the, overall, the check-in was flawless and you even made your own key card for your room. From there, we headed right up to our room. Again, we were impressed with the overall decor of the hotel. It was uh, it had a pretty nice feel to it. Having read the reviews, we knew that the room was going to be pretty small, so we were curious to see what that was going to be like once we got to it. So we entered the room. Again, it was clean, it was small, but we were impressed with the uh, color and overall uh, design of the room. The bed was against the wall with a window that looked out over Boston. We had the high floor city view room and we thoroughly enjoyed sitting on the bed and working out at the city. We did that quite a bit more than we had anticipated doing. We really appreciated the uh, view and the bed against the window. You could see the Boston Logan Airport, Boston Harbor, Faneuil Hall, the Holocaust Memorial, and the towers behind there is where the Boston Commons are and the City Hall. Now that we've checked out the view, we've had some time to look around the room. There was a coat nook next to the front door, and there was some under the bed storage. That was enough room for some small travel bags. And there was also a safe under the bed. The bathroom counter had a soap dispenser, tissues, fridge, hand towels, and a blow dryer. Overall, the room had a minimalist vibe to it, where it didn't have bars of soap or extra bottles of shampoo and conditioner. There was an adjustable vanity light and a lamp. Our lamp did not work, but the vanity was ample enough for, uh, for doing whatever you needed to do at the bathroom sink. The toilet and shower area were connected in a small space that was divided by a frosted glass wall. The fixtures appeared to be of quality and they worked well and had plenty of, the shower had plenty of pressure. And then they had this AM and PM soap. And I'm assuming that they were both, well, we assumed that they were for both the body and for the hair, as there was only two soaps, one that said it was for the morning and one that said it was for night. But we used it for both and it worked for both the shampoo, conditioner, body soap, whatever you needed, it seemed to work well. The room had a combination of high and low tech amenities. There was a stuffed doll and a shelf with four books that was available to purchase in the lobby if you happen to like them. There was a table with a notepad next to the bed and a bank of switches that controlled the shades and the wall switches. There was also a light and the room phone was also at this table. The room also had a tablet that could control the lights and the shades along with the TV and the air conditioning. You could adjust the lights to different colors. It was cool, but we did not use it. Now that we checked out the room, we decided to get ready and head out for the night. Before we went to our concert, we decided to go to the hotel bar to get a couple drinks and some appetizers. The menu had a nice appetizer menu. They didn't have any entrees or anything like that, but they did have a nice drink menu. Uh, we ordered our drinks and our food and headed out to the rooftop terrace while we waited for our food. They give you a pager, which didn't seem to work out on the rooftop deck because we never got buzzed. But when I went and headed in, I saw our food waiting for us under the heat lamp where they said we'd find it once our pager went off. 
We got the hummus and pita chips along with the corn fritters. Both were excellent and far exceeded our expectations. Just watching it now makes me want to have them again. We were in the city to watch the Peter Gabriel concert and beforehand we decided to head over to the tavern on the square for a drink and then we checked out a, a bar called Banners. Both are, would be great for before game or after game but if you're in the city for something to if you're looking to go out to dinner at night I wouldn't recommend those places. I would go to the North End or someplace else in the city. The next morning after the concert we checked out the amenities of the hotel. Being a small boutique style hotel, there weren't many amenities, but they did have on each floor the Iron Havens, which, because the room didn't have an iron, at least you could go down the hall and iron your pants, but the, the our particular Iron Haven didn't have any lights. We went down to check out the gym, and next to the gym there was an Iron Haven that did have lights. And the gym itself was a windowless, small windowless room with uh, some treadmills and some workout equipment enough to get a quick workout in. After the gym, we checked out the area they call the living room. The living room had plenty of games, lounge chairs, area to hang out where we found many people anytime we went through the lobby. Behind that was where the bar is and during the morning it was converted to their breakfast lounge. And they had a full buffet, a coffee bar, and the food overall, it looked really good. And if we weren't saving ourselves for the North End for a nice lunch, we, we probably would have had breakfast here after seeing what it looked like. Overall, the Citizen M Boston Hotel was great. The staff was friendly. We could find ourselves hanging out in their bar lounge area for much longer than we had time for. We enjoyed the window bed and we liked the quality the hotel gave overall. A few notes, the bathroom is small and not 100% sealed off from the rest of the room. It was not a problem for us, but it might be a concern for others. The bed being against the window was great, other than it was hard for the second person to get out of bed. Overall, the building was fresh and clean, and check-in was a breeze. We would rate this hotel a 4 out of 5 stars. We were impressed of the price and the style of the hotel, and it exceeded our expectations. Thank you for watching the No Keepers review of the Citizen M Hotel in Boston, Massachusetts. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.